Get your five fingers up when you see Doc C. How you doing, Halifax family? You know who it is. It's your proud superintendent. And now it's time to sit back and have some sweet tea with Dr. C. Welcome back to Sweet Tea. I've been away for a while. Been away, you know, for a while, you know, going about, you know, the county doing our business. But now it's time for us to wrap up this school year. You know, COVID hit us in 2020. And, you know, Halifax family, we were primed and ready for big things. You know, I call it the blessed bump. You know, I arrived here in 2016 and incrementally we've been putting things in place to improve. And then right when we were ready, COVID hit us right dead in the face. But you know something? Hmm. We responded to the waves with class and grace. And look at all that we've accomplished for the past two years. We've been through so many things together. And I have to admit, family, it changed Dr. C. I told you a long time ago when I was on that bus that when I got off that bus, I was a changed man. But going through the past two years in COVID, that changed me as well. And now I'm proud to say I am the proud superintendent for Halifax County Schools. Look around and you will see all the wondrous things that we, we, we have accomplished together. I am so proud of our children. You see them growing up and be doing big things all around. We're graduating our first class over at the early college. Way to go. Way to go. You know, and we're preparing for graduation at both of our high schools as well as our alternative school. We're enrolling more and more students every day. So many wondrous things are happening in Halifax County Schools. And from the bottom of my heart, I can only stick my chest out and say, we are striving for five. You know, I always say what's the, you know, what strive for five means, you know, strive is that action word. Strive means you have to go and get it. It's yesterday never counts. You have to give up yesterday. You can't rely on yesterday. You have to only deal with what's right in your face today. Five. It's a standard of excellence. It is our goal is that everyone, every employee, every person, every student, every staff member, every teacher, including you and families, strive for excellence every day in your thoughts, actions and deeds. So what the strive, you know, that five means you have to be ready. You have to come to school. You have to go to work. You have to wake up ready every single day. You have to be respectful. You can get a long, you can get a long way in life if you're respectful. You have to be resilient. When you fall, you got to get back up again. Life is going to knock you down, but you have to get back up again. Ready, respectful, resilient, triumphant. You have to run through the finish line and celebrate your victories. And finally, you'll be proficient. Proficiency means that you meet those prereqs. You you meet those requirements. You meet those regulations. You meet those standards to be excellent. And our goal in Halifax County Schools is to empower all of our children to be successful global citizens. So it doesn't matter if you're in China. We want you to say, I'm proud. I'm a proud graduate of Halifax County Schools. If you're in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, I'm a proud graduate of Halifax County Schools. If you're in college, I'm a proud graduate of Halifax County Schools. If you're at work, I'm a proud graduate of Halifax County Schools. And you know, family, I'm seeing it every day. I call them pockets of excellence and they're rising up all around us. And it's because of us working together. It's making a difference, family. It's making a difference. You know, COVID hit us hard and we have grown past it. We started testing. You know, we implemented Earn While You Learn. Our children were administering testing. Our own seniors were administering testing. You know, and then we stopped testing and now we're in an optional mask. But we still have to be careful. Those numbers are inching right back up again. But we know what to do. We have the infrastructure in place. And together we will continue to keep us safe. Sit back, get up, sit back and enjoy sweet tea with Dr. C and I'll be right back. Welcome back to sweet tea 
with Dr. C. You already know who it is. It's your proud superintendent. I told you COVID changed me. COVID changed me because I'm so proud of us. I mean, I'm a fighter for us now. I'm a champion for Halifax County Schools. And you know, I've been here going on six years. June 30th will mark six years in Halifax County Schools. And you might want to say, well, how, how you doing, Doc C? Well, well, I think we're doing phenomenally well, considering all that we have been through. You, you know, when you look at the lighthouse and our logo, it tells you a story. See, a lighthouse works best in a storm because I know what you're saying. What's that lighthouse for? There's no water in Halifax. You right. You're right. But a lighthouse serves as a beacon. It's a beacon of hope. And it works best in a storm, in a storm. And when you look at that lighthouse concept in Halifax County, it's anchored in the belief that education is the passport to a better future. See? And then when you look at the cone of the lighthouse, that's our school and our facility and all of those resources that we pour out into our children every day. And at the top of the lighthouse are our teachers, our staff, you, all of us. And when we combine our superpower, this great light emerges all through Halifax County and children with severe deficits can see the light and make it back to the shore and get their education, that sound basic education that they're, that they're entitled to every single day. So in Halifax County over the past six years, we've implemented walkthroughs. I have a beginning of the year walkthrough, a middle of the year walkthrough, and now I'm conducting my end of the year walkthrough just to make sure that we're in formation and ready for our end of, to close out the school year with our testing as well as with our graduation. And I'm proud of what I'm seeing in our classrooms. I'm seeing what I call pockets of excellence prop up at every single school. But you know, families, we, we, I have to be you know, straight with you. COVID, we lost in Halifax County over 100,000 instructional minutes. 100,000 instructional minutes. Now everybody knows that we had broadband issues over the past 15 months. That resorted to a lot of our students relying on packets to do their work. We had kids who came back to school and weren't taught their multiplication tables at home. Can you imagine coming to, you know, leaving school in the second grade and coming back in the fourth grade? In the middle, you're supposed to learn your multiplication tables. And it wasn't done, so they're in the fourth grade, and our fourth grade teachers are having to go back and reteach. Our third grade teachers, remember they started school in the first grade, you come back in the third grade. Well, by the third grade, you're supposed to be reading on grade level, but you missed 15 months. That's the impact of 100,000 lost instructional minutes. But I don't care because I have the best team to deal with it. See, I'm going to love them where they are and we're going to grow them up, but we can't turn on each other. Our parents, they were working two and three jobs during COVID, battling the waves of COVID. We had death and destruction everywhere. Remember, we lost the first principal in Halifax County, in the state of North Carolina. We lost so many people. And you can't worry about education when you're not safe. And COVID made us feel unsafe for over 15 months. And it's been a rough time. And I understand that we lost over 100,000 instructional minutes. And so we're incrementalists. And what do we do in Halifax County? We start digging. And we're going to dig our way out. And instead of being crabs in the bucket, pulling each other down, we're going to form a human ladder. And I want you to imagine crabs in a bucket, families, where we're just pulling each other down, pulling each other down. No, in Halifax, we're getting into a new formation, and I'm calling it the human ladder, where you're standing on my shoulders, and then someone's going to stand up on your shoulders, and you get the idea. And then we're going to pull each other up. We're going to pull each other up and make up for those 100,000 minutes. So we're not going to beat each other up. We're going to grow each other up. 
That's the Halifax way. If my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, then I know I can achieve it. You know, and one thing that I'm proud of is our teacher retention rate, our employee retention rate. We know when I got here, when I arrived here in 2016, we we were in the 40s turnover. That means that pretty much means you're turning over your entire staff every two years. I'm so proud to say that we have slashed that in half in over five years. Why? Because we celebrate excellence. Our, you know, we celebrate excellence from our custodians, our bus drivers, to from our, our food service, to our secretary, clerical, to our instructional assistants, to our teachers, to our principals, to, to, to our, you know, our central office staff, to our maintenance employees, to our finance who writes the checks and pays the bills, you know, to our, our EC department who handles our most vulnerable kids to our HR who are responsible for recruiting and retention. We all stick together. And, and, and that's what COVID has forced us to do, to look to each other. And I'm so proud of all that we have accomplished over the past two years. I debate anybody over the success of Halifax County Schools and what we encountered over the past two years. You will not make my children feel bad. I am so proud of them. They're doing big things, big things. I mean, if you ever had a chance to look at our Facebook page, look at what you say. Those are authentic artifacts of what's going on at every single school in Halifax County Schools. And now we're celebrating our educators. <laughs> Look at principal of the year, Miss Lakeisha McCoy out of Southeast. We recruited her out of Camden, y'all. She saw the light, started swimming. I want to be part of Halifax. And now she's our principal of the year. Way to go, Miss Lakeisha McCoy. And now our teacher of the year, Miss Nina Lee for the division. Miss Lee, she's a from here. And look how she has grown to be the number one educator in Halifax County Schools as voted by her peers. But that doesn't matter. When we talk about Earn While You Learn and all of our wonderful CTE programs, we look at Miss Angela. She's our CTE teacher of the year. Miss Angela is another from here doing big things. But we always have to plan for the future. And our beginning teacher of the year is Miss Stephanie Durant. <laughs> That's our future, y'all. And together, we're going to continue to do excellent things in Halifax County Schools. You know, and when we talk about all of our educators and showcasing all of our educators, you know, everything ends with student success. If you had an opportunity to come out and see our, our teacher of the year and principal of the year, we had this big old showcase out here at the central office. You know, when I tell you we're having a good time, you need to come out here and see for yourself. We were in the front lawn of the central office and it was absolutely beautiful. We had our tent up, our outdoor, our outdoor learning environment. We call it this big old tent and we celebrated together. Our principal of the year, our teacher of the year, our, our CTE teacher of the year, as well as our beginning teacher of the year. But we, we wanted to show, I wanted to show our students' success. See, all roads lead to student achievement. Everything that we do is focused on our students being successful. And so we had our students come out and bring all of their projects. We had windmills. We had our oratorical winners. You know, the August Wilson oratorical winners. We had our teen court. If you know anything about teen court, that's when students are actually the, you know, the prosecuting attorney, the defense attorney. They're actually in the, the juror's box, the bailiff. They assume the role of an active court case, which is heard by a judge. And, and so we are informing all of our teachers, all of our kids, what is needed in the court cases. So, you know, we, we showcased all of that. We even had information from our green leaf farm out there, you know, and Mr. Cotton was so proud, he went out and got his John Deere tractor and brought that out there. 
So you can see how wonderful our, our, our children are doing. And when we talk about those meals in the cafeteria, a lot of that food's grown in our own farm. And you've seen me give away that food during the Christmas break. Now we're eating it in our cafeteria. See, that's earn while you learn. All of our kids are working because we're focused on project-based learning, you know, where we can build these partnerships with the Chamber of Commerce, the Business Advisory Committee, Commission here. And we're talking about how do we put our children to work while they're still in school. But we're focusing on these projects where kids can just reimagine education and make it work for them and focus on the things that they want to focus. And we talk about all of this, you know, I'm in this for graduation. You know, this, you know this, that's what Doc C all about. You can say whatever you want. What I want is a diploma in every person's hand. Now I do understand that it's not when you finish, it's as long as you finish. You know, we get rated all the time about on time graduation, but I have to admit to you myself, I didn't finish everything myself on time. So I get it, I get it, I get it. But look at our graduation rate, it is ticking up. No longer are we a dropout factory. Our kids are striving for five. And if you have a chance, make it out to the Halifax Community College on May 14th at 10 a.m. And you will see our first graduating class from our Halifax County Early College. <laughs> Check it out. They're going to receive an associate's degree along with their high school diploma. That's called a twofer. And no cost to the parent. No cost to the parents. Then we have to award those same students with, with their high school diploma, and that will happen on May 31st when we have the Halifax County Early College graduation. That's May 31st at 9 a.m. Then we go over to Southeast, South, Southeast on May 31st at 1 p.m. Then we go over to our empowerment zone. Wow, I tell you, Miss Arrington and her crew, they're doing awesome things June 1st at 9, and then we finish up at Northwest on June 1st at 11 a.m. See, it's all about graduation. And I need you to celebrate this moment in Halifax County. It doesn't matter if you have, if you have children in our school system or not. We're building our community. We're building a stronger community. So you need to celebrate our children, celebrate our excellent the excellent work that we're doing every single day in Halifax County Schools. And you know, on May 10th, you know, Northwest and Southeast visited every elementary school in their cap and gowns for their senior walk. And I want you to see, go to Facebook, and I want you to look at the expression on their face of the graduates, as well as the expression uh, on the faces of the children. They were in awe. They were in awe. See. That's the lighthouse concept. See, our children are role models, and I want brother to see older brother graduating. I want to see older sister looking at younger sister saying, if I can do it, you can do it too. You should have seen them adorn with, with their cap and gowns and all the cords that were awarded. It was just, it, was, it, it just made me teary-eyed. As, as a good friend, Mr. Clark Cooper would say, I get teary-eyed. <laughs> I get teary-eyed, too, sometimes, especially when I see student success. And now you know we're in the fourth quarter, and we're getting ready to land this plane, dock this ship, and we have to get ready for testing. Our EOGs and Extend One assessments, May 16th through the 27th at our elementary and middle schools. I need us all to get focused. I need us all to get focused. Grade, our third grade EOG reading retest is May 25th, and the EOC assessments May 23rd through May 27th. Now students, I need you to get focused because we strive for five. Do not take this test for granted. Teachers, push through. Push them through. Don't ease up. You have to learn to run through the tape. You have to finish the race. I call it closing the circle. Don't leave anything open. Close the entire circle. And because we're seeing success in this incremental growth, you know, we're applying for grants because, you know, Doxy, I believe in, you know, small schools, but we need some new schools. 
So, you know, on a Saturday, I called up uh, Dia Denton, our new county manager, and she, you know, answered the phone, y'all. She answered the phone. And uh, it was a Saturday. I said, hey, Dia, I want to apply for that needs based grant. And, you know, she didn't hesitate to say, you know, Doc, are you ready? I said, yeah, I got, we have everything together. We're shovel ready. We've already spoken to our architect. We, we worked on it pre-COVID because that was the, you know, wish of Miss Susie Lynch Evans. She was our former board member who, you know, you know she, she actually made me promise hmm, not to give up. She made me promise not to give up. God called her home, but her dream did not go with her. She transferred that dream into me and we worked hard. And so we applied for that needs based public school grant and got and Halifax family. We are the proud recipients of thirty one million two hundred and sixty six thousand two hundred and forty dollars <laughs> going up there Thursday for a reception with the state superintendent to talk about it. <laughs> and we're going to rebuild Eastman. We're going to rebuild Eastman, but it will become a pre-K school in the western part of the county. Our students deserve better. It's time to bring back Eastman. That drive, shuttling them to the infield and inboarding and all that is just too long. It's just too long. It's time to build Eastman back. Bring it back. And we need to bring it back better and stronger. So we're going to bring back a pre-K school that has expansion potential. Aren't you proud? Aren't you proud? I am. If my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it, then I know, I know, I know we can achieve it. In closing, great things are happening in Halifax County families. You hear me? Great things are happening in Halifax County. And I want you to be part of it. And you can be part of it by visiting our social media page. You know that Darren Presley, you know, we hired him as Darren Presley, and he's on fire with this social media, y'all. He's just pop, 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 pop. You can get all that stuff. You know, them youngins, they know what they're doing. See, that was a smart hire. So go to our Facebook page. Go to our Facebook page, Instagram. I, I, you know, he got all that stuff out there. So, and then you will see for yourself all the wonderful things that are happening in Halifax County Schools. You can also, if you're interested in working, if, you, if you've been on 95, did you see that billboard? <laughs> Uh, Halifax County Schools want you. We want you to join the winning team. So visit teachinhalifaxnc.com. Say it with me. Teachinhalifaxnc.com. See, that's our new web page. That's our new landing page. I need your help in recruiting great staff in Halifax County Schools. So go to teachinhalifaxnc.com. In closing, I want to thank everyone for watching Sweet Tay. I want to give a huge shout out to our Board of Education who've been supportive of the work that we're doing here for six years. See, leadership matters. See, leadership matters. And I like to give a huge shout out. But most of all, I want to give a huge shout out to, to you out there watching us today. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're growing incrementally. All we have to do is remain positive, stick together and stick to the vision and the plan that's in place. Have a great day, and remember, strive for five.